Welcome back everybody, Matt here. Today we're putting together the ultimate guide to RGB LED strips. Some of you may not be aware, but TikTok actually blew up a few of my old LED strip videos. So now I'm basically the CEO of LED strips. It's true, he really is the CEO. Anyway, today we're gonna be talking about purchasing LED strips, installing them, a few modifications you can do, and then at the end, we'll show you a few different examples of how you can use them to make them look as best as they can. So with that said, let's get right into it. Okay, so you want LED strips, but you aren't sure which ones to get. There are a lot of options out there. There are a few rules of thumb you should follow, and if you do, you really can't go wrong. The first is make sure everything is included that you need. That's a power supply, a power adapter, a remote control, and of course, the LED strip itself. Second, you want to make sure it has good reviews. I generally aim for 4.5 stars uh, or up. And lastly, don't bother with the gimmicks. You don't need an app. You don't need live reaction to music. Uh, 16 foot LED strips should not cost more than $15 and 32 foot strips should not cost more than $30. And those are generally the sizes they're going to come in. The ones we're using are from Luminosity uh, and they are $12 for 16 feet and $20 for 32 feet. And I'll leave those links in the description below. Thanks, Matt. Now to give you guys a better idea of what you get when you buy one of these RGB strips, let's do a quick unboxing. So the first thing you get is the AC adapter, which pretty much is what you expect it does. It powers the entire RGB strips. You also get the plug for the AC adapter. You get some nails and hooks just to make sure if you wanna put it on the wall to have a better secure fit. You get the included remote, which includes the battery already inside the remote. You also get the receiver for these RGB strips. A little bit of branding, a user instruction manual. What surprised me a lot was an extra battery for the remote, just in case that one ever dies. And finally, the RGB strips themselves. Since we got the package that includes 32 feet of RGB strips, it comes with two 16 foot RGB strips, which you can connect them together. So right now I'm just gonna show you guys how easy it is to turn these things on and power them. Pretty much everything that we need is right here already. We got the AC adapter plug-in, which we plug into the AC adapter. We've got the plug-in, which we plug into the receiver. And last but not least, we plug in the LEDs into this little pin and we make sure the arrows are pointing in the same direction. Then all you gotta do is plug them in, take your remote, aim it at the receiver, and boom, you're good to go. Now another really good thing about these RGB strips is that they do come with adhesive, making it really, really easy to put wherever you want. Take this for example, I'll show you guys how simple it is to put it behind a desk. Very simple, very easy. Now if you wanna connect two of these RGB strips to the same receiver, take a look, it's pretty simple. You gotta make sure that you plug them in, with the arrows facing the same direction. And then you take your remote and you're good to go. Both of them are running. So if the RGB strips that you have are a bit too long for the area you want to use them in, you can also cut them. And it's honestly really, really simple. Take a look, all you gotta do is find a spot where you got these indicators where you can cut them. Quick snip. And they still work perfectly fine. So another really cool modification that you can add to these RGB lights is LED light channels. And the best way to describe what they are is they pretty much distribute light a lot more equally throughout the entirety of it, rather than having little tiny hot spots of where the light is stronger. Now, if I had to compare this to anything, I would say it pretty much looks like a lightsaber because the light is just filled throughout the entire thing and it just looks a lot nicer than regular RGBs. Now, one particular way you can use these RGB strips is putting them around your ceiling. That is what we've done and it's personally my favorite way to use these strips because it fills the room so nicely and it just adds a bit more color. Again, you can customize the color to whatever color you want, whatever mood you want, that's fully up to you. And that's why I think having these lights around your room, it's really, really nice. So another spot where you can put your RGBs is behind your desk, as you can see I got right now. And it creates a really nice glow effect coming out of your desk and just sitting down working. It's kind of nice. And again, you can always change it to whichever color you like. And to give you guys a better idea of the small difference that this makes, take a look. 
This is no lights whatsoever. It looks pretty boring and bland, but as soon as I turn it on, it kind of pops more and it just gives a nice, more positive vibe. Hey guys, it's Matt again. So the island in my kitchen had a really extended lip and I thought that was a perfect opportunity. Uh, so I plugged it in over there on the right and then just cut it at the uh, the left side over there. And since it's so far in there tucked in, you really never see the LEDs themselves. So you get a really cool glow effect. Uh, and I don't keep them on all the time, but I definitely like the effect that it gives when they are on. So yeah, as you can see, the possibilities with RGB light strips are pretty much endless. It's pretty much put into your hands as to what you can and can't do with them. And they're such a simple addition. They're super duper affordable and they make such a big difference. I remember when we used to film our videos and we didn't have LED light strips around the room, it just didn't look the same. And now with it, it looks a lot nicer. Now, if you wanna pick up some LED RGB strips that are really affordable and the ones that we have, which we use in our studio, and so does Matt, the link to those are in the description below. With that being said, this has been MS Tech, and as always, stay classy. <laughs>